industry. If you're anything like me, then you create things and you can't get them. Like Chick-fil-A on Sundays, snow cones in the winter, or donuts in the middle of the night. As you know, donuts usually close at 11 a.m. <laughs> um, one thing that made me interested in this speech is the fact that I crave donuts so many times during the night, and I wanted to learn how to make them on my own. One of the resources I used was Pinterest. I found three different websites pinned on Pinterest to use, and I'm going to start with telling you how to make the dough. Um, some of the big questions is how do you make the dough, how do you make the glaze, how do you cook the donut, and how do you put the glaze onto the donut. The way you have to make the dough is to get two tablespoons of dry yeast, two cups of milk, half a cup of shortening, two teaspoons of salt, two thirds cup sugar, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of cinnamon, four eggs, and six and a half to seven and a half cups of sugar. For this one, it took me a little bit longer. I had to use about nine cups of flour. I'm not sure why, but my dough is really sticky and really runny. Um, the first two steps is you're gonna dissolve the yeast in lukewarm water, and you're gonna set it aside. Then you're going to heat up the milk, and once the milk is heated, you're going to pour the milk over the shortening into a large bowl, and you'll whisk it until it is dissolved. Step three is to add the salt, sugar, nutmeg, and cinnamon. I left the cinnamon out just because you'll see why later. You're gonna mix it well, then add four eggs and mix well again. Step four is to add the yeast mixture to the batter, add the two cups of flour and mix, and you keep adding two cups of flour, mixing, two cups of flour, mixing, until you get the consistency of a kind of hard, but not too hard, and kind of sticky, but not too sticky mixture. Step five, you're gonna cover the bowl and let it rise for one to one and a half hours. You'll place the dough on a lightly floured surface, and then you'll roll it out to about one inch thickness. You'll cut the donuts out into circles, and you will cut the donut holes out. You can use a pastry puff maker made by a pampered chef, or you can use whatever you have laying around the house to make the donuts in the donut hole. The second recipe I found wasn't really like from a website or anything. I actually had a friend tell me about it. Instead of making homemade dough, you just used a can of biscuits. I found that this was faster, easier, cleaner, and cheaper. Um, they're already in a circle. All you have to do is cut out the middle. The glaze. The first thing I found for glaze is the just natural, sugary, regular glaze that you see on every donut. For the glaze, you're going to use the ingredients one fourth stick of butter, one cup of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and two tablespoons of milk. I found this on cookingwithcarrie.blogspot.com written by Carrie herself. The steps are pretty easy. You just melt the butter in the microwave and add the powdered sugar, vanilla, and milk. You're gonna stir until it's combined. It's pretty simple, right? The dry mix. Instead of a traditional glaze, to switch things up, use this common, use the cinnamon sugar recipe from littlebitfunky.com. You're gonna melt the butter in a shallow bowl, and then you're gonna pour sugar and cinnamon into another bowl in your favorite proportion. I use kind of a darker brown, more cinnamon than sugar uh, portion. You're gonna cook the dough next. Remember the skillet that has vegetable oil warming up. That's what you're gonna use. Simply place the dough into the grease and let cook until golden brown. Then you're gonna flip it over and do the same. It's pretty too easy. Glazing the donut is pretty easy as well. Once you've taken the donut out of the grease, place the donut into the bowl of glaze that we mixed up earlier. Make sure to flip it over to ensure both sides are smothered in glazy goodness. Set the donut on a cooling rack or a plate lined with napkins to let it cool. When cooled, you can enjoy it. Putting on the dry mix. Cooking the donuts are the same. Instead of just placing the donuts into the cinnamon sugar mix, we will first place the donut into the melted butter, then transfer it to the dry mix. Just like before, be sure to get both sides covered. Place on a plate and enjoy when cold. The final result. Your final result should be a plate full of sugary goodness that tastes like heaven. For even better results, you can enjoy it with a cold glass of milk. How many of you like donuts? How many of you like to bake? <laughs> well, this was something that I had fun doing because I do like donuts and I do like to bake. And if you're the same, then you'll enjoy making donuts on your own at your house. It's a fun thing to do with your family, just kind of bonding time, fun thing to do with friends, maybe even your significant other. It bonds you together, it makes you come closer together. You get to learn how to make new things, you get to try new things, and it's just an all-way fun and simple task to do.
I've used homemade donuts recipe by Kristen from Laluna.com. I use Carrie's cooking and recipes with Carrie from cookingwithcarrie.blogspot.com. And I use what I made for Monday, Naughty Donuts, where I got the cinnamon sugar recipe from Crystal on littlebitfunky.com. Now, who wants some donuts? We have the cinnamon sugar and the glaze. This side is the, these two are the biscuits. These ones are the homemade. Biscuits homemade.